Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Cinepeed Geek. Today I'm going to do a sci-fi channel original film review, a film by the name of Grave Halloween. And without any further ado, let's go and get to it, shall we? Grave Halloween was released on October 19th of 2013 on the Sci-Fi Channel. And you know they release about for about two to three films every month. And it's directed by none other than Stephen R. Monroe. Stephen R. Monroe has directed many other sci-fi uh channel uh, television films in his career. He's directed uh, other films known as the I Spin on Your Grave remake that came out in 2010, and then recently he also did the sequel to that remake with the name of I Spin on Your Grave 2, which actually came out just this year, uh, not too long ago. And I'm a big fan of him, so that was the reason I checked this out. And uh, so Stephen R. Monroe directed it, as I said, and the script is written by Ryan W. Smith. He's done a few things in his career, but not too much. And then it stars actors and actresses such as Caitlin Lieb, Cassie Thompson, Dejan Loya, Graham Wardle, and Hiro Kanagwa. Forgive me for that last name. That guy is uh, Japanese, so that's why I you know, had a hard time pronouncing his name. So anyways, what is Grave Halloween, the original uh, sci-fi channel movie, all about? Well, it's pretty much about a suicide force. Now, I don't want to say too much about the concept because the concept is really cool. And I hate to spoil it for you guys, but apparently there is this suicide forest, or it's in, I guess it's in Japan, I believe, or somewhere. Uh, anyway, so there's a suicide forest where you go to this forest, and obviously you commit suicide there for reasons I won't say. And there is this girl, she has pretty much her last, you know, college project, her class, or class or college project sometime, where she takes a film crew out there. And her, I don't want to say too much, but her mother, you know, committed suicide in this forest, and she pretty much goes there to, you know, give her mother a proper burial to get closure, find out how her mother died, why, and pretty much, you know, that's the reason she goes out there, and, you know, the suicide force kicks in, and you guys get the point. So that is the gist of the Sci-Fi Channel original film with the name of Grave Halloween for October 19th of 2013, like I said earlier when it premiered. Well, what did I think of Grave Halloween? I absolutely loved this film. As I told you guys earlier, I'm a big fan of Stephen R. Monroe. No, I have not seen all of his films, but I have seen a good chunk of his. I've seen both the Ice Bender Graves 1 and 2, and I have reviews of both of those. You guys want to check that out in the uh, comment board below. Love those. Those are probably still my favorite films for him. But Grave Halloween was another great addition to his films. Let's talk about some of the reasons why I liked it. Well, Stephen R. Monroe has a great style to his films. The style really sticks out. There's some nice shaky cam angles. Not a lot, not a lot of it, but there. I love when the whole shaky cams are used. It was used a decent amount. Nice, but in your grave too. A little bit in the first one, and I love when when that's used. He uses some nice close-up camera angles where he'll be out of focus in certain angles, and then as characters get closer to the camera, those characters will come into focus. I love you know those scenes. There are some great death scenes where his style comes even more into it. You know because the death scenes are of course written in there, and then it has with you know his uh, directing. Uh, you know, his directorial camera angle flare into it, it makes for a great time. So overall, you can really see that, uh, you know, the director of Ice Spender Grave 1 and 2, that Stephen R. Monroe's directing style really comes into play, and it comes into play right from the very beginning. You know, it doesn't, ha it doesn't take 20 or 30 minutes to see, you know, oh, he directed it. It's right immediately there, and I love how you can tell that he directed it. I uh, also enjoyed some performances. I really enjoyed Caitlin Lee. She plays the lead girl of uh, Mike Mako. And I really liked her in this film. She was really cool, sentimental, emotional. Her performance is actually above average in films such as this. A lot of times in horror films, you don't really care about the characters. You just kind of, you know, want to see, you want to see them die off. Well, in this case, Grave Halloween's a little bit different. I really liked how Caitlin Lee played her role. Her performance is actually uh, way above par, way above average. So overall, I really liked her. My second favorite character was an actor by the name of Hiro Kanagwa, the Japanese actor playing the character of Jin. And his character in the film, you know, getting a little spoilerish there, uh, his character was really cool. There's a twist used at the end, you know, big spoilers coming out, where you actually find out that his, that he was the one laying on the ground, you know, he was never alive. I guess it was like a ghost of some kind. He, his was the uh, Rolex watch that was actually, you know, that was actually the Rolex watch that was stolen from his dead body, and he was actually just trying to guide them out of the suicide force, just to get them out of there in general, so no one will die off, but of course no one listens to him. I loved every time he uh, appeared, some great, uh, I guess you could say, uh, zomb sort of zombie, 
uh, prosthetic makeup work that really works. And overall, I really thought there was some really eerie, uh, creepy, and just really overall fascinating and enter entertaining and just interesting scenes throughout the entire uh, Sci-Fi Channel original film for the year of 2013 with the name of Grave Halloween. Like I said earlier, some very creepy scenes where I was actually, you know, on the edge of my seat several times throughout the movie to really that really worked overall for the movie's advantage. It also had some great references in it that I thought were really cool. I'll show you guys a few of those films to show you guys exactly what those references were. There was an obvious reference to the Evil Dead film. And spoilers coming up if you haven't seen it. If you're a horror fan, I'm sure most of you have seen it. But, you know, for the Evil Dead, there's a scene where a girl gets raped by a tree. It's probably one of the biggest scenes, if not the biggest scene in this film, besides maybe some of the ending scenes. Means, you know, with the crazy camera angles that Sam Raimi did in, back in, 19, in the 1980s, I believe. Uh, anyways, you know, the famous tree you can see. Well, in this film, a girl doesn't get raped by a tree, but there's a very similar scene. Instead of a tree, it's actually hair that's used. And they also reference the grudge, obviously, throughout several times in the film. Uh... But anyways, a, a girl, you know, the, this, imagine a girl that looks just like the grudge and her hair actually begins to grab this guy's arms and he doesn't get raped or anything, but his arms get grabbed and then it just kind of pulls his arms apart where it separates his arms and legs from his torso and all that's left af afterwards is his torso. You know, Stephen R. Monroe's directing style sticks out again in that movie. Uh, but with a great script also written by Ryan W. Smith, you know, without that script, you know, those death scenes wouldn't be there. So the script... And the con overall concept of the film, premise and setting is, uh, is great also. I just want to show that guys to you, though, letting you guys know that obvious Evil Dead reference. That was really cool to see. And then, as I said earlier, the, uh, the, the film made in the 2000s, I believe, by the name of The Grudge, the remake of a uh, Japanese film, I believe. Uh, once again, obvious references to The Grudge, the Japanese girl that is haunting the forest or haunting the group of uh, teenagers or young adults, I guess you could say. Uh, obvious reference because it looks just like the, you know, the girl and the grudge that's haunting, uh, you know, Sarah Michelle Gellar's character and, you know, the cops and the rest of them and her friends and stuff. So, I, you know, obvious references to that. So overall, I like those references, uh, too. Uh, overall, a straight 10 out of 10 stars. Really enjoyed it. Nothing bad to say about it. And that is for the Sci-Fi Channel original film for the year of 2013 by the name of Grave. Halloween. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to that page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.